Greetings Earthlings, today we're going to take a very brief look at what polar pattern is and which polar pattern is right for you. So first off, polar pattern is just a technical term to describe the directionality of a microphone, or in simpler terms, it explains what area around the microphone will pick up audio best. Secondly, we're only going to be covering three different polar patterns in this video, and those are cardioid, omnidirectional, and bidirectional. So first up, we have a cardioid or unidirectional polar pattern, and that just means the microphone mainly picks up audio directly in front of it. So as I move off to the side, the audio should start to drop off a little bit. And as I move all the way around to the back, it should have a pretty drastic drop off in volume as well as it will cut out a lot of the higher frequencies. Next, we have an omnidirectional polar pattern. And as you can probably guess, that just means it picks up audio all the way around the microphone. So as I spin the microphone around, you shouldn't hear any real drops in volume of my voice. It should just remain consistent all the way around. And then lastly, we have a bi-directional polar pattern, which just means the microphone will mainly pick up audio in front and in back of the microphone. So as I move off to the sides, you should hear a fairly large drop off of my voice. And then as I get all the way around to the back, my voice should get back up to that normal volume. Now, if you've been shopping around for a microphone, you've undoubtedly seen one of these polar pattern specification sheets. So let's go ahead and talk about how to read them. So first we need to understand where we will be in relationship to this diagram. At zero degrees up here at the top of the screen, that will be the very front of the microphone, and 180 degrees at the bottom of the screen is going to be the rear side of the microphone. Next, this dark shape on the screen is going to indicate what the actual polar pattern of the microphone is. And lastly, as that darkened shape gets farther out from the center of the diagram, that indicates that the signal it will be picking up will be louder. And as it gets closer into the center of this diagram, the signal will be getting quieter. So what this means for a cardioid polar pattern is that when you are at zero degrees or directly in front of the microphone, you will be getting the loudest signal. And when you are at 180 degrees or directly behind the microphone, you will typically be getting the quietest signal. Then we have an omnidirectional polar pattern and you can see the darkened outline all the way around the diagram. And this means that no matter where you are around the microphone, you should be getting the exact same level. And lastly, this is the bi-directional polar pattern, and you can see that at zero and 180 degrees, you're going to be getting the loudest signal, and when you are at 270 or 90 degrees, you should be getting almost no signal. Now with all that information, let's go ahead and talk about which polar pattern is right for your use case. A cardioid polar pattern is going to be best for those who are concerned with excessive background noise. So if you're making a gaming video and you don't want to hear your keyboard or mouse, maybe you're miking up a live band or you're doing a podcast or you're doing an interview with somebody in the field, all of those situations you would want to ignore the most background noise and a cardioid polar pattern will do that the best of these three polar patterns. Omnidirectional polar patterns I'm personally not a big fan of, but if you are in a meeting, maybe a conference room or a boardroom, and you want to capture everybody's voice, it would work really well in that situation. And also, a lot of lavalier microphones are omnidirectional because they don't have the ability to be pointed directly at the sound source, so they have to have a fairly large pickup pattern to make sure that they pick up your voice. So in that case, I think omnidirectional is great and pretty much essential. Bidirectional microphones are really going to work well for those people who want to use a single microphone to record maybe a duet with one person on each side of the microphone or even an interview where you're sitting on one side of the table and your interviewee is on the other side. And I think that's pretty much it. So I do know this wasn't a thorough discussion of polar patterns and their applications, but this should give you a working knowledge and give you a good idea of what to look for when you're shopping around for a microphone. All right, guys, so if you found this video helpful or you want more videos just like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, if you thought it wasn't informative, if you think I'm just stupid, give me a big old thumbs down. If you want more, go ahead and subscribe by clicking the logo beneath me. And also, don't forget to vote for the microphones that you want reviewed next, as well as follow me on all the social media stuff. Links to everything in the description down below. I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>